All I want to do is curl up on the couch with a nice TV guide. <clears throat> oh, man, they put Starsky and Hutch back on the air. <laughs> Finally, my letters mean something. <laughs> yeah, a little dark hair, one got fat. <laughs> oh, man, that's Roseanne. <laughs> what madness is this? Uh, honey, we have a confession to make. They raised the cost of heating, and we can't afford to buy a new TV guide. <laughs> Aaron, it's very important that sign come down before Peg sees it. What I want you to do is go outside and look for her and yell when you see her. Ah! Oh, not her picture. <laughs> not her picture, her. Ah! <laughs> Did you see it? Yes, Peg, I saw it. Ray Charles would see it. <laughs> but why is it up there? Well, the photographer asked if he could use one of my shots to advertise his business. I just didn't think he was going to make it that... Shamulian? <laughs> well, I was going to say gorgeous. Dad's coming. Dad's coming. <laughs> now, don't giggle. He'll give it away. He's not supposed to know Mom commissioned a painting of herself for $2,500. <laughs> Really, don't. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Did you leave the price tag on? <laughs> no. Really, really don't. This could kill him, you know. <laughs> Wait, but don't we have a loyalty to the man? That's a good one. <laughs> oh, shh. I think he's coming. Okay, keep a straight face. Okay. Hi, kids. What? <laughs> Nothing. I guess we just love you so much. <laughs> I've had a rotten day, and I'm in a foul mood. A fat woman came in and said she was a size five. I shoved her hoof into a shoe. <laughs> My thumb got stuck in the back of the shoe. She panicked, reared up, and galloped around the store, <laughs> dragging me on the floor behind her. Thank God a stick of butter popped out of her purse. I was able to grease my way out of it. You know, we can't do this to the man. We have to warn him. Daddy? What? Nothing. <laughs> oh, by the way, is your mom upstairs? No, Dad. Good. Thank goodness I don't have to look at her tonight. <laughs> feet, women. Women's feet, women. Painting? I don't understand. Well, surely you'd think you'd be screaming by now. Well, maybe we don't give Dad enough credit. I mean, maybe he realizes that he's been neglecting Mom lately and He's probably pondering that now as he gazes fondly upon the face of his one true love. Oh, no! Hey. Peg, I can't sleep. I keep thinking of all those dimes and nickels that I passed over to get to that beer table. So typical of my life. I was just this close to that quarter. <laughs> God, my head hurts. Well, honey, maybe next time you'll wear a helmet before you go a coin. <laughs> now, good night. You know, what would feel good, a nice ice pack. Al, <laughs> you always do this. You get the slightest little injury and you get all whiny. You know, like last summer when you were changing the tires and the car fell on you? Boy, I really got a lot of sleep that night. I can't feel my legs. I can't feel my legs. You are such a baby sometimes. Now just go to sleep. Some of us feel okay. <laughs> Oh, I can't sleep, honey. Rub my tushy.
Yep, once a mighty athlete. <laughs> an hallucination. You are probably seriously hurt and need medical attention. Now go to sleep. I knew she'd come crawling back. Crawling? To you? Ha-ha, <laughs> I say. I wouldn't crawl to you if I had a date with Mel Gibson and you had the last diaphragm on Earth. <laughs> <laughs> Me neither. <laughs> Despite what you think, you are not God's gift to women. Oh, yeah? Tell that to the burly Earth First babes who come out every spring looking for baby moose on Levin. <laughs> they may not shave like you and I, but they can fill out a flannel shirt. I can tell you that. Then why are you back? I'll tell you why you're back. You're back for this. Feet! No more feet! <laughs> no more feet! No more feet! Help me! Help! Help! <laughs> feet! Feet! Al! Honey, wake up. You're having a dream. Oh, Peg, thank God. For the first time since the first time, I'm glad to see you in bed. It was horrible, Peg. There were feet everywhere. Oh, poor baby. Let me get you a glass of water. <laughs> Oh, honey. Feeling a little glum? Well, this will cheer you up. You know how you're always saying that if I want money, I should get it myself? Well, today I needed money to pay Seven's doctor bills. Get ready to be proud of me. All by myself, I took cash that was sitting doing nothing out of that pretty red envelope. You mean the one in the mailbox that was addressed to our mortgage company, Eviction Trust? <laughs> Well, I wouldn't know about that, honey. When I open envelopes not addressed to me, I just take the money, but I never read them. I feel that would be an invasion of privacy. <laughs> <laughs> and yet you have no problem living in my bedroom. <laughs> Peg, don't you see the envelope was a pretty red one because the bank is a little mad at us because we haven't paid them low these many months. 
But on the good side, we'll be moving to a roomier space now. It goes by the name Outside. Uh, are we ever gonna be let back in the house? No, kids, none of us are. For you see, Mommy spent all of our mortgage money. Well, you'll just have to do something. All right, I will. No! I want my mommy! Hey, guys, listen, since the wives are downtown feeding Christmas dinners to the homeless, shouldn't we be down at the nudie bar feeding dollars to the topless? Yeah. <laughs> Great idea! To the nudie bar! Yes! <laughs> Where Christmas is nice! And lap dancers are half price! <laughs> Where you drink down the shooters and unwrap the hooters. <laughs> Where eggnogs are plenty and the girls are all twenty. <laughs> I recognize those voices: Butcher Boy, Psycho Cop, Hot Pants, Ken Doll, Shoehorn. <laughs> It's me, Butter. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>